some point set in G. So then the by homotopy invariance, if you consider two if you consider the two major major measures on the two different transpass arc, then the, these guys agree at the intersection. Well, what this meaning? So if you, if you first consider the major, so as I said, if you consider the intersection of these guys, I, you, you, if you realize that as these guys as the point set, then the, the me, ladder measure on I1 gives a ladder me, a measure on this one, this point set. The same thing happened for the I2, like this. This yellow guy gives, uh, this yellow guy is uh, realized as a point set in G, but uh, this, uh, the ladder measure on I2 gives a ladder measure on this point set. And then if you consider intersection like this, this green guy is intersection. Uh, this intersection gives also a measure, but uh, we have a homotopy equivalence property, then this guy is equal to the, if you restrict this guy into I3, then the, the measure should be equal. So this means that the, if, you, if you consider two sets, then this, the, uh, uh, we, have a, we have a family of sets which define the transpass X in G, and I'm nowhere on this set, but if you intersect these, these guys, then this measure are equal on the intersection. So, so then, by, so then, so under this condition, so it is, it is known from major theory that uh, uh, you can glue the measure at the intersection. And then you obtain the ladder measure on the full set L in G. I mean, as I said, L is recognized as a closed set in G because of, because of the definition of the geodesic combination. So after that, we push forward L into this. I mean, this is an inclusion. I mean, inclu push forward by inclusion makes a ladder measure of G. So, so now, so I would like to notice that uh, Every trans major lamination realized as a measure on G. This is what I want to say. So, so for instance, yeah, this is an example. The example is also very important, I guess. I, I think, yeah. I mean, so, so when you, when L is discrete in G, then the level measure obtained in, in this procedure is just the sum of Dirac measure like this. So I mean, this is a point mass. But uh, if you have uh, some kinds of hitting, hitting sets, then uh, there is uh, some kind, some kinds of strange, strange uh, some strange property happens. But uh, if you consider only this field one, then uh, you, you can think of the such kind of summation of Dirac measures. Okay. So now, so I will realize uh, every bounded major lamination as a Heller distribution. So this is a very easy. I mean, as I said, every lambda in the uh, every bounded major lamination is recognized as a ladder measure on G. So we can integrate a so then we, we can, the integration, we can define the integration by lambda. I mean, integration of the function on G by lambda. So then this integration gives a linear functional from the Hilda, the set of, the space of Hilda's function to the real numbers. So the, this is the recognition of, of, of for the Major delamination as a Hilda distribution. Why this is Hilda distribution? But I, I, I didn't did, did say detail about this one, but uh, we can see that. So, lambda, so when you recognize lambda as a Hilda distribution, then the new norm is less than or equal to the first norm of lambda. So, then if you think, if you think of the uh, 
so a bounded major lamination, then this is always bounded. So that this is bounded, so that this is bounded for all new. So then, this guy is recognized as a Hilda distribution. So from the, this inequality, as I said, this set is embedded into H as a subset. And, the, the, and then we can, we, can have a, we can have a topology on MB, where MLB, where the, in this topology. From the H, is that under, so this topology, we, we say this topology is the fresh topology on MLB. So, okay, so the, the division, so our, so what, what mean we, the, our res, results? I mean, so, uh, so the, by Sarsen and result and the Gard, Gardiner for Rakic and Saric result is, uh, we can see that uh, there is a canonical bijection from the TD and the MLB, and uh, so then the, our result is uh, as follows. I mean, when you topologize M ML, when you topologize MLB by the fresh topology, then the earthquake map, earthquake measure map, this one is a homeomorphism. But I, I, I think this is not this is not trivial topology from the induced bijection. But uh, I mean, this is this is. This is the reason why I, I say canonical one. But I mean, but canonical is also many many meaning. But uh, I think this is uh, some kind of canonical topology. Okay. So remarks. So this is uh, related to the question by Professor Inkan Kim before. So. Now, so we recognize the major laminations as a rather measures on the G, on the space of geodesic lamination, or geodesics. And then the, the measures, the set of measures are with the, the other canonical topology, which is called the weak star topology. Uh, uh, in some sense, it is said to be bug, big topology, uh, which is defined like this. So the rather measures, Lambda M on G converge to lambda infinity in the weak star topology if for any continuous function with compact support, the integral, in, the integral converge to the integral of the limit. So this is a, the definition of weak star topology. So then the, so I should emphasize that uh, this is a, this is a, this is a, canonical topology, this is also canonical topology, but uh, the point is that uh, when you consider the universal Tachimia space, and you, if you consider the earthquake deformation, and if you consider the geodesic lamination, if you connect them, if you want to connect them, then the, the topology, this topology, weak topology, this, the weak topology is weak, very weak in this situation. In our situation, I mean. So we give you an example later, but uh, so so this uh, so first this is a candidate for the defining defining the topology, but uh, I find uh, some example to contradict the uh, homeomorphism, so that we should con we consider the another topology. So and the the, the remark too. Uh, this is very important remark. I mean. So if you consider the co compact function group gamma, and uh, if you restrict the gamma invariant measure laminations, then the weak star topology coincide with, coincide with the fresh topology. Okay, so so that if you restrict the, such kind of invariance property, then the weak star topology is coincide with the top, fresh topology. And in, in this case, our number measure from the major lamination is the same as there is current, uh, which is which is appeared in the talk by Professor Inkan Kim before. So that the disk current is 
used to compactify the Tarahimia space or something like that. So the, so, so this is, a, I mean, the, so, so then the, I think the weak topology is a one of the chemical topology in this sense. But uh, when you consider any friction group or something, or when you consider even the Tarahimia space, then the weak star topology is unique. Uh, weak star topology is, is weak. Okay. So, okay, so the examples. So this is very simple example, but I think this is very important example. So for simplicity, we discuss H instead of D. I mean, but this is disk, but this is uh, H. You can imagine that, I think. And uh, so let geologic LN like this, this is L1, this is L2, this is L3, like, like, like this. Then the, you, you, the, uh, we derive like L0, like this, uh, the, uh, uh, connecting uh, the origin and infinity, like this one. This is the imaginary axis. And the, then the, each element recognized as a major lamination with the transverse measure defined by counting intersection number. This is, a, I mean, this is an intersection, Dirac measure. Okay, so this is, we recognize these guys as a major denomination by, with the Dirac measures. So, so then the, okay, so this is a corresponding Hilda distribution, which is a Dirac measure for L, L, Ln. The, in the sense of Hilda distribution, we, all, we, after we see that the mu n doesn't converge to mu zero, but uh, Ln converts to L, L, L naught in the weak star sense. Uh, this is almost trivial, but uh, we should prove. Well, the, how to prove this one? So this is a third, this is a three line. This can be proved a three line, but uh, okay, so for the weak star topology, so for if you consider the continuous function with compact support, then the, the integral is nothing but the, the value of f at Ln, right? Because of the, this is a Dirac measure. So because of the continuity of f, this guy converges to this guy, because Ln converges to L, L0 in G. So, but this guy is nothing but this integration. So the, this means that the, the this mu n converges to L0 in the weak star sense. Okay? But, something happened. I mean, so this is a upper half, half plane, as I said, and uh, this is L0 and this is Ln. So, so this is a, some complicated formula, but uh, so the important property is that uh, this QN has a uh, real measure row two, and uh, this contains L0 as center, but this does not contain Ln, right? So I mean, this, but well, I mean, we can take a Ln like this, then the, the, this square, uh, this box, does not contain Ln, but contain L0 as center. Okay, so, so this is a box, and uh, this is L0 and this is Ln. So then, what, what happened in this, in this case? And so we can take a, so, so then, like this. So this is a, uh, this is what I, I, I said before, I said now. And uh, to take a Lipschitz function, so this is a, some kind of uh, Hilda function with uh, this property, uh, we support Q star with this property, they consider this, like this. Then the, if you consider, if you have, if you calculate, if you think the, this guy, one hour after my talk, then the, I think you can see the, this, 
equality. Ah, uh, this inequality. I mean, if you so if you so you consider the new norm between these guys, then the, because of this new norm is defined by the supremum, so that this is less than or equal to the uh, this is greater than or equal to the this integrand. And uh, so this is a test function. We can see that this is a test function. And uh, this is because these guys are Dirac measure, and the support is, doesn't contain, the support of mu doesn't contain Qn, but contains nu, nu zero as a, as a center. So that this should be equal to this one. So that this is, uh, well, this is equal to like this. This should be equal, but anyway, ah, this is not equal, but uh, this is not dependent on the new. So this means that uh, this guy is bounded below by a constant independent of n. So that this means that uh, this guy doesn't converge to new in the Hilda, this other Hilda distribution. So that this is a very important example. So that, and uh, the, how connect the uh, Tahimia topology? Okay, so now, so we, we, we now consider that uh, this should be, well, I, I mean, any, we should be, need, need something on any. So new as, as before, and the corresponding earthquake like this. When you consider the Dirac measure at Ln, then the corresponding earthquake is, looks like this. And because L, L, L0 is a uh, uh, geodesic, this one, then the, this is an example first we met before. And uh, so then, so you can check the, after my talk, then the, this guy converges to uh, this one. Uh, this should be boundary of H, but, but anyway, so the boundary value converges to uh, this one uniformly. Okay. So this uniformly connects uh, some kinds of the weak star topology. But anyway, so the, the point is that uh, this guy uniformly converges to this one. But uh, as I said, this new n does not converge to L0 as a Hilda distribution. And our, from the our theorem, Hilda, this, uh, Hilda topology is you know, some kind of suitable for the Tachyna topology, so that this should be not converged to the, this one in the Tachyna topology. So that this means that the uniform convergence does not imply that in the, the convergence in the Tachyna topology anyway. So, that, so this is a very, I mean, so in this sense, this is a very important example. So that this is so I I I, I would like to emphasize that this is not this is converged uniformly, anyway. So that, so for checking the equivalent class does not converge to this one. So we need a following lemma. We doesn't prove this one, but uh, we this is known. I mean. When you call, this is not a HN, uh, this is, this is a general, we take a, you, you can take a general HN in, in the universal time space, but uh, if HN, equivalence class of HN converges to H in the time topology, the supremum of this uh, box, uh, uh, of the Liebel measure of this box minus this one converges to zero where Q runs all boxes with reveal measure log two. So then this is a log two, should be log two, but uh, so, so this means that uh, uh, all box does not change too much. So then the, so for, if you're familiar with the complex analysis, then the, this is a kind of Schwarz lemma. I mean, uh, but but uh, so but uh, to explain this one, so we, we need to explain the complex structure of the universal Tachymia space, and uh, this should be a holomorphic mapping on the Tachymia space or something like that. So that I I I, I do I, I do not explain this one, but uh, so if you if you know the complex analysis and the, the complex structure of the universal Tachymia space, then you can understand this property as a short lemma for the 
say, contraction property of the Kobayashi distance or something like that. So that, then that, so we see that uh, not convergence. Well, so this is a straightforward calculation. So let, so to apply this one, so we consider that we calculate the, this composition like this. So that, so if you think of uh, this one, so then that this one, you, you, so, you, 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 so you, please believe me that uh, I, so if this calculation is correct, but I, so please believe me that uh, the, so from the calculation and uh, this kinds of things hold. So if you think that QN like this, so then but by the by the calculation we can see that G Q N a G and Q N is like this. So then the so when so then the when this guy is the equivalence class of this guy converts to this guy in the touch topology, then this should be tend to uh, the, this should be tend to uh, I'm sorry, this should be log to this which we, we should take take the log of something. But uh, anyway, so the, this should be this should be tend to log to but uh, we can calculate this one that uh, the real measure of this box is log of this one. This is not independent uh, this is this is not depends on n. So this means that uh, this is a constant independent of n, so that uh, this implies that uh, uh, this implies that uh, this guy does not converge it in the Tahimia topology. Uh, oh, sorry, this HN should be this one. So, but, uh, so, and, uh, but uh, the point is that, uh, as I said, that when you consider a co co compact friction group, weak star topology and the uh, header topology is equal. Why this is happened? Uh, so, I, I, so in the in the in the five minutes, I will explain this one. And uh, I, so, and uh, the point is, okay. So the point is that uh, like this. So, so, so this example is. So, so what is this mean? Uh, this behaves. Well, so this is a uh, upper half space here, and this is a. Uh, uh, this is imaginary axis, and then the box is looks like this, and uh, let's see here to here like this. So that this means that uh, in the in the space of G L in the space of G, this is not compact. The Q L is not compact. I mean, this behaves. I I don't know detail, but. Uh, this compared to uh, tend to in the boundary. I mean, this is the set of this one the, is not, not pre-compact. But this is a this is a most this is a big issue for the, the uh, this situation. I mean, so when you consider a co-compact friction group here, and so take a, you take your fundamental polygon, so. So then the, so when you consider such kind of small box, and if you consider such kind of small box in the, in the and then with the norm of something, the, if you consider the center, so, so the, uh, uh, no, this is not center geodesic, but uh, if you connect this guy and this guy, then uh, you have the intersection now, intersection point. So that because you, you can take a, co if you take, if you have a compact, co compact friction group and this is a fundamental domain gamma, because this is a co compact, then the, we have the some gamma which sent to this one to this one. So then the, so we have some kinds of interval with such kind of thing. Uh, because of, I mean, so I should notice that I should 
notice, notice that uh, before that, uh, our norm is invariant under the Nebus transformation. So that, so then in the compact case, you can you can only think that uh, such kind of square with the center in the fundamental domain. So this means that uh, you can you can think the compact family of the square. I mean, so this is not a compact family of square, so that this kind of thing happens. But uh, when, when you restrict the compact square, then uh, you can uniform convergence implies some kinds of type of convergence or something. So, uh, uh, so the, the, the mo most issue is that uh, you, you, if you consider the compact one, then the, this is, uh, uniform topology is equal to the uh, some kind of type of topology, but uh, if you such kind, if you have uh, such kind of thing, then the uh, some kind of uh, uh, strange st phenomenon happen. So anyway, so that co compact means that you can take a co compact to compact compact fundamental domain, so that you can denormalize the any square as like, like, like this. So then the, you can have the uniform equivalence of the uniform convergence on the Tahima topology. Okay, so the, okay, thank you very much for your attention. Thank you. Thank you. Very interesting talk. Uh, thank you very much.